uh, welcome back to my channel uh, in today's tutorial we're going to create a simple and stylish login and sign up uh, beautiful right looking stylish and then switching back and forth uh, with login and you got login with others right it's very uh, responsive as well in any screen and then I got this uh, inspiration from this site right here and that's how we're doing it okay so if you want ready to get started let's go ahead and do this and code this together I already coded this part <laughs> so the funny thing is I created a video already but then I forgot to record all the screens so I'm doing this from scratch again okay so oh man this is so sad <laughs> okay i got this done i deploy with virgil uh verso we're gonna do that it's totally free we're gonna put it in github and then use verso and then we can send it to anyone else now okay let's just scratch that okay it's a big mistake on my part and i totally own up to it I should have paid attention but it is what it is I'm making this content for y'all hope you guys enjoy it and subscribe and let's go ahead with the setup okay totally from the start <laughs> okay close it okay I just want to do this raw with y'all that's why I, that's what my motto is okay let's do it Let's create it right now. Go with login. Registration. Let's just call it registration. Okay. I'm using React, by the way. Okay. We pull up this code. Drop it in there. And okay, here's the command for React. Okay. npm npx create React app and we're gonna have to delete a bunch oh my gosh my goodness I'm just gonna create it inside this folder that's what we need and then we're gonna do react icons as well and then let's go with tailwind react uh do react tailwind we're gonna have to use this command these command to install tailwind okay all these are made possible by with Tailwind. So, okay, all that is made possible with Tailwind. So can't do it without Tailwind. All right, let's pause it real quick. Okay, now it's done. Let's go ahead and copy this, paste it, enter, yes. You should see a Tailwind config. Get that. Replace everything with what I just copied. Okay, close that. And let's go to our index CSS under source. And okay, let's paste it, close it, and then let's install one more thing. React icons. Okay. And let's see the npm start to start our website and just close this down good voila okay everything's done now we can go in here i'm not going to delete any any of these you can delete if you want but i just gotta delete this one the h1 each one hello right and then I want to test if tailwind is working bg web there we go everything else is working I don't need this okay now let's go in here new folder create component 
and then in here I want to create asset okay and uh, under here I want to have the registration that JSX okay and then inside we're gonna have a let's see login and then I'm gonna have a sign up okay let's go ahead and create those files so login.jsx perfect and then sign up that JSX okay perfect and let's go down here and just import the login and then import the log sign up all right we got both of those and notice not nothing showing up because a uh, job uh, react is reading this uh, this component here so we gotta add registration right there so both can show up okay now i don't think we need this file anymore get rid of it we will need this 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 okay so for the login and log out now the login and sign up basically they're all the same right we're gonna have this and this and this they're all gonna remain the same so i i just have to make one component and just copy paste it here and change up wordings and you know whatnot okay now let's go ahead and create the bottom portion because this would uh, be all over the both components right so what I had what I did was let me think if I could remember this okay I had a HR and then and then I got a class class name I the with full uh, when I remember and then I have a p tag saying login with others okay and then repeat repeat all right let me um, do this this is what I did before uh, let's start with mobile version first okay, as you already can see All right. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's what I did. Okay, that's why we have it like that. Let's go ahead and style this up real quickly. How about that? Big flex. And I did like items. Item center space X four. Okay, and then this. I promise y'all I am doing this from scratch okay I'm gonna add the shrink zero here okay that's good that's it y'all that part and then this right here so I realized the last video I did I caught up with this so I'm gonna make these a component okay the buttons this these three will be buttons so I'll make a component well let's go ahead and create new file let's call it button.jsx so a button will receive we're gonna have well for these two at least these two are the same and this one should i do a component button Nah, <laughs> just forget about it. Okay. Let's forget about it. I don't know what I'm trying to do here. But let's go with give. Let's go with button. Or, or I want to make it. Here, we're going to have an icon. So let's 
gonna be Facebook and then Google. Okay, and Google. Google. We're gonna get this and paste it. Let's look at this. And first off, we're gonna have a Google and then here a p tag saying sign in with google and then it's going to be repeated so let me style this let's items center justify center and the border around it rg and then we're gonna do space x one uh, to give it some spacing and let's do p4 uh, two okay two is better okay and then we just repeat these two all right let's just repeat repeat these two let's just repeat it and just change the to fa facebook right sign up with uh, facebook okay and then we gotta give it some spacing we're gonna do ny4 so we got spacing between all those three okay now that we're done with that and it looks like it got a border darker so we'll say border black I believe let's just make it darker like that right I didn't do this on the last round but it's okay we'll go extra mile with this so and then let's go here Uh, or let's just let's go do this okay first of all we would we want to only show one component not log in and sign up together and then there'll be something under here that's where we're going to toggle between showing sign up or login component okay to do that we're going to go const we're going to say is login set is login and we're gonna use you state and false in the initial state okay now let's see let's do our thing turnaround operator okay is is it true is login true is, if login is true then we show login all right else we show sign up Let's see. Okay. First off, we're gonna make we're gonna show sign up first. Yeah, make more sense, right? Because we never want to show people login first. They need to sign up first. So what? Okay, we want to sign up first. Yeah, that's right. All right, let's go to our login or sign up. Let's have a H1. H1. And we're going to say welcome. With really, really big sign, but later. And then we're going to have a form. And no action and then we have a div and then I believe what key tag or we need icon so we're gonna put import was a person so person or user 
I use this one. And then we want password. Uh, I got this one. Okay. There we go. We got these two and these two will be repeated as well. So I'm only going to start one first. And I want the CI user and then E tag not p it's to be input text placeholder and username okay let me style that up and go with plus flex items center space x x1 and then it's going to have a border not border. Uh, is it DG gray 300 or just 200? Okay, and then put me around it. OG and then P2. So now you're seeing outline and the white background. We're gonna, we're gonna go last name DG. The DG transparent and then with full uh, outline none because we don't want to show anything. Okay, and let's just make this text a little bit bigger. That's it, y'all. And then we copy it, repeat for the password. There we go, and change the type to password, email, oh, password, I mean. Okay, there we go. We got that, that's perfect. Now, we want to do MY4 as well. Got a lot of space in there, perfect. And then in here, I'm going to do class name, do text 7XL semi, um, semi bold. Okay. And then under, we got a P tag saying we are glad to see you back with us. And then I just want to do class, class name, it won't do 400. Uh, light, and then do text, Excel. I just do LG. Okay, now to we have to make it have to put it in the middle to do that if i have to do that i would have to go both right so i just wrap it in a diff that way i target one one time right simple there we go perfect and then right here as well we can do py4 Give some spacing. Okay, perfect. That's what we want. And then we want to go to registration and give it some spacing. PX4 so it doesn't touch. Okay, and then I think I want to do flex. I want to put it in the middle. Now it, it messed up the flow because each component right this is its own component its own component we want it to have to be the same component to do that we are going to wrap it together uh, also include this 
there we go now it's one part and this is what we're gonna do click the buy center items center and we'll do height screen so it goes in the middle right there perfect right that's what we want because if we're going in a big screen we want the image to be here okay uh, we just keep it like that perfect now what do we want to do we want to add that link I was talking about let's go on top of logging with others I want to put it right there okay, give. and it's gonna be so first of all we're gonna ask so since we're oh we don't even do we have the button yet okay let's go button it's gonna be sign up okay do plus plus bg black text white rounded lg and then we want to do with full and then p2 as well there we go and i think mb4 the spacing problem right perfect right now we're and the sign up right let's go here when the sign up we're gonna say already have an account and then the, the button here I'm gonna say login okay and we're gonna do this flex items center just to buy p20 and let's make this text a little smaller okay and then make this full font semi bold and underline perfect that's what we want and now when we click this it should show us uh, the login now the login page to do that we when we so when we go to the login page we should see don't have an account and we're gonna have a sign up button right sign up here okay if you're ready let's go and do our login basically they're the same let's go and go to return copy the whole thing and then paste it here and then we're just gonna say login and then we're gonna say please please log in to access uh, services right perfect and let's also copy this Okay, perfect. And this is login now. We should say login. Okay. And then we'll go registration. We're gonna say PB for spacing problems. Okay. Now we want to show the login. Okay, we're gonna do almost the same thing like this uh, we can do this right here you say login uh, is, is login if so we have this let's see what we got okay and then we do let me see what we got Okay, that means this gonna go here. 
and this one I'm gonna say already don't have an account now that's the problem Yeah, already have an account and then okay also it's going to be the same thing this so we're gonna say is login if not then we do sign sign up else login pretty neat with with um, what is it? I like. I like React for this reason. Okay. All right, let's do our magic here. Let's go. When we click on. It is logging. So. When we click on it. When we click on this, we sh should be. Now, here's the problem. When we click on this, like on click, it should set its login to its log opposite of its login. Right? Here's the problem. Let's see. Oh, there we go. See? Perfect. That's all we want. Everything's working. Keep it clean. And then now we want to we want to have the picture here on the bigger screen. Let's go ahead and add image. Image. And the asset, we don't have the image. Let's go to, let's go here and put the boy image in there. And then I'm gonna get here info boy from assets. Then boy standing. Okay, we're gonna add the image here called boy. There we go. It's flex right now. Right. Perfect. It's way too big. So we're, what we're gonna do here, class. We're gonna hide it on the small screen. Big screen and do a block okay and then class run it full uh to excel so this is what we got perfect and here we're doing flex right and we should have a space x I want like 20 between the boy right here and then I want this to have class hmm, with 40% and then here I want with one half with one half okay look at that but the problem is it's way too big now we're gonna do max width now max width 7xl and max auto and here's the magic right there it stays right there gone perfect y'all that's it that's everything okay and now let's do our deployment. 
let's go to github new and do registration okay to make it public and then go here wait let's see okay follow these command and stop it paste <laughs> why Get init and then git add, add everything and git commit and then change the origin, uh, the branch. Right now it's master. Change it to main. Copy this one. Uh, it's not changing yet. What's up with that? Change it. Okay. Get push. All right. As you can see, all our projects here. Now let's go to Parcel. Let's deploy this bad boy. Okay, let's do end new. Let's go with our registration. So if you don't have it, sign up. I, I would sign up with GitHub. So it has all your repo. If you don't sign up, then that's gonna be difficult. I don't know how you would do it, but I recommend with GitHub. Import it, deploy it, and let's just wait. All right, we're gonna keep waiting until it's done. Waiting, waiting, waiting. There we go, we got it on there. Continue and let's click on this link, it should be there. That's it, fully responsive. You can share with your friends now and do whatever you want with it. See, they got I got a spacing problem right now because of the PX20 SpaceX. So let's just do LG on that. Ah, of course. Of course. And we gotta push the change. It's so nice when you push the change. Uh, oh, what is it doing that? Okay, not 40%. And this we want LG only. Okay. Only LG, right? There we go. It fixes the problem. Now let's push it. Good. Commit. Done. I'll just say done. And then I'll push it. Okay. And it should only take a couple seconds. Right, it's building right now. It automatically get your changes once you push to GitHub. That's why Virtual is pretty nice. Right, right now we have it not working yet. When it's done, it'll be done and look perfect at the end. Hold up. Let's see.
there we go current ready now this there we go as you see it changed immediately all right that's it y'all make sure you y'all guys like it subscribe and comment down below of what you guys want to see next peace out